Hey, welcome to this Windows channel and this is the Tech News Update. We are Friday, February the 9th, 2018. And today in our Tech News Update, we have Facebook that soon might have a downvote button. Um, not for your comments on your wall, but more like the comments in the thread. So if you, for example, post a comment of a question or a comment, and people want to give their opinion, well, the comments that others will put might have a downvote button, depending on what people think is right or wrong, uh, depending on the subject and whatever is being talked about. So this might be coming to everybody soon as it's already being tested for a certain number of users. So it's going to be interesting to see uh, what's gonna happen with that. Well, NVIDIA showing massive growth in the GPU market, and it isn't surprising. First of all, it's pretty much the king of the most powerful graphics processors out there. And the other thing that is making this also a really big growth is the fact that cryptocurrency mining is driving GPU sales uh, through the roof, basically. And uh, the last but not least important bit of this is that NVIDIA, of course, which supplies the graphics chips for the Nintendo Switch, that also helps. By July or by this summer, uh, Google Chrome version 68 will say that a website that doesn't have HTTPS or secure HTTP uh, isn't safe to visit. Now, it doesn't totally mean it's not safe, but they just want to push and force everybody to use secure HTTP, which of course encrypts all the information on the website. Uh, this is going to be interesting because a lot of websites are still not using secure HTTP, uh, including many, many major uh, websites. And uh, here I, I have an example here. My local newspaper that I read every day is not on a secure uh, connection. So uh, that's going to be interesting to see. Well, the uh, Winter Olympics are now underway in Pyeongchang and of course um, lots of talk about it, but one of the uh, things that not a lot of people are talking about is the fact that they are the most technologically advanced games um, and that, that basically the number of IT workers is at a record number for the Olympics. And, of course, the number one tech use, and we've actually seen it in the Intel um, Olympic display, drones. So, uh, kind of amazing when you think about it, and, you know, everything is really technological today. Well, a free press watchdog says that Chinese journalists should not use iCloud if they want to avoid being, you know, kind of spied on by Chinese government. Apparent Apparently, surveillance um, is a big problem for iCloud in China and uh, seems to say that Apple and the government, Chinese government, are working hand in hand. Well, um, you know, sometimes you want to do something to kind of put in the light your devices and Microsoft kind of wanted to do that, but they kind of messed up. So they actually did a survey to kind of ask what is the best laptop, thinking that, of course, the Surface laptop would be at the top. And, well, the questions were maybe a little too broad as the best answer for what's the best laptop came up with a MacBook. So, okay, maybe that kind of backfired on you, man. It's just uh, interesting. Of course, Surface laptops were second, but uh, still, I don't know. Net neutrality, of course, being uh, gone um, as the FCC has removed net neutrality, um, basically, uh, rules. Um, one of the things that the FCC and Hadget by was saying is that, oh, well, net neutrality is actually preventing investments by internet service providers for better internet and that removing it will be better. Well, a new um, survey seems to say that it's the complete opposite that is happening. Internet service providers are lowering their investments 
in slowing down deployment of better and faster internet across the United States. Kind of says that, uh, yeah, sure. Well, the iBoot uh, issue, there was an iBoot leak for Apple devices. <clears throat> and um, basically, many were worried that it would maybe make uh, iPhones less secure because of the code, the source code that now is leaked so that everybody can see how it works. Well, Apple says, nope. Yes, the code is real. That is, you know, for sure. But that, no, it will not create a security hazard and that it is not a big problem after all. And finally, a uh, privacy watchdog is saying that your phone is actually spying on you so much that there really needs to be regulations in every country around the world to lower the amount of data that you know companies are stealing without even you knowing about it first of all they want to have regulations that will tell you hey this app is spying on you in this in this way and second of all they just want to have regulations that prevent companies from doing whatever they want but just you know just buy a little not too much and uh, you know as we walk around with our little devices it's kind of interesting to see that yeah we're pretty much being spied on everywhere and this was the tech news update for Friday February 9th 2018 you enjoy our videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching